Good morning, folks. Hope we can be encouraged. It's 23rd of March. We're looking at the New Testament, the Gospel of Luke, and it's the Garden of Gethsemane. It's chapter 22 and verse 44. His sweat was, as it were, great drops of blood falling down to the ground. Let's see how Spurgeon might both encourage us and also challenge us with uh, his words this morning. The mental pressure arising from our Lord's struggle with temptation so forced his frame to an unnatural excitement that his pores sent forth great drops of blood which fell down to the ground. This proves how tremendous must have been the weight of sin when it was able to crush the Saviour so that he distilled great drops of blood. This demonstrates the, the mighty power of his love. It is a very pretty observation of old Isaac. Ambrose, that the gum which exudes from the tree without cutting is always the best. This precious camphire tree yielded most sweet spices when it was wounded under the knotty whips and when it was pierced by the nails on the cross. But see, it gives forth its best spice when there is no whip, no nail, no wound. This sets forth the voluntariness of Christ's sufferings, since without a lance, the blood flowed freely. No need to put to the, on the leech or apply the knife, it flows spontaneously. No need for the rulers to cry, spring up, O oh well. Of itself, it flows in crimson torrents. If men suffer great pain of mind, apparently the blood rushes to the heart. The cheeks are pale, a fainting fit comes on. The blood has gone inward, as if to nourish the inner man while passing through its trial. But see our Saviour in his agony, he is so utterly oblivious of self that instead of his agony driving his blood to the heart to nourish it himself, it drives it outward to bedew the earth. The agony of Christ, insomuch as it pours him out upon the ground, pictures the fullness of the offering which he made for men. Do we not perceive how intense must have been the wrestling through which he passed, and we will we not hear its voice to us? Ye have not yet resisted unto blood, striving against sin. Behold, the great apostle and high priest of our profession, and sweat even to blood rather than yield to the great tempter of your souls. It is food for thought for us as to the efforts that we make in uh, trying to put Christ first and to, to serve in the way that we might. So I hope you have a good day. Until the next time, God bless. Please do take care. Bye for now.